Hi, in this tutorial I'll show you how to make a fiber transformer driver based on the FFF timer I see. This is the circuit, the PCB and the board visualization. You can power it from 9 to 15 volts but 12 is nice. The timer is configured as a relaxation oscillator by R1, R2 and the capacity 1. The frequency is set to 25 kHz with R1 as 18 kilo ohms, R2 as 39 kilo ohms, and capacitor C1 as 1 on a farad. The duty cycle is about that 1%, which is good because most frameback DC to DC converters need a duty cycle less than 50%, with the recommendation being less than 40%. There will be a series of square wave passes at pin 3 with a set duty cycle of that 1%. The frequency formula is 1 all over R1 plus 2 R2 into C1 and the diode D1 ensures that the capacitor C1 will charge only through R1 and is charged only through R2. This way the duty cycle is guaranteed to be less than 50%. The capacitor C2 acts as a stabilization capacitor to keep the output at pin 3 stable even with changes in the input power supply. When the pin 3 is high, it will cause the MOSFET D1 to conduct and so allow current to flow from VCC through the primary winding of the transformer through the MOSFET and to ground. When pin 3 goes slow, because capacitor C3 is connected in parallel with the primary winding, this makes a tank circuit and it will cause it to resonate at its resonant frequency given by 1 over 2 pi LC. The inductance of the primary winding is dependent on the number of primary windings and the core type of the transformer that you use. Most frameback transformers have a ferrite core. The turns for the primary can be anywhere from 3 to 8 turns and the secondary should be anywhere from 800 to 1200 turns. This way you can obtain voltages of up to 30 kV on the secondary side. Because the capacitor and the primary winding are in parallel, you have a pure sine wave on the primary side and so on the secondary side. You can obtain most frameback transformers from old cathode ray tubes or even you can buy some online. They work really well. Some even have a diode at the output to give you a DC output. Or you can even make your own custom Freiburg transformers and make any modifications that you desire. The board for the project is as shown. Here's the input, the timer, the new capacitor, and all the other mandatory biasing components. This is the MOSFET. This is the output, the transformer. And this is the dissonance capacitor. The MOSFET, you can use any MOSFET with a drain source rating of at least 50 volts. The IRF Z44 will work well and it's cheap. Other MOSFETs that you can use are the IRF 14, the IRF 150, and also the IRF 250. The final board is as shown in the input going here, and this is the connection to the transformer. The resonance capacitors should be in an polarized one. You can salvage ones from old switch mode power supplies which are used as input filters. I hope you have enjoyed this video and if so, make sure to give it a thumbs up, check some of my other videos, share with your friends, subscribe and don't forget to click the notifications bell icon. Have a nice time and I'll see you in the next video.